why do we need to be mindful of our association what's my story and how can you improve your associations watch or hear this episode of small town bigger dreams do you belong to a small town are you struggling to make it big in a big city do you want to learn principles to get to the next level well you are at the right place welcome to the podcast small town bigger dreams where i help you with some principles guest interviews and stories to help you make it big hello and very warm welcome to the episode 1 of this podcast small town bigger dreams now let's start with today's episode being mindful of your associations jim ron says you are the average of five people you spend the most time with now this is a famous quote which truly signify signifies why it's so important to be mindful of association and when i say association i mean people you sit around people you talk to people you travel with people you do everything the top 5 people of of that is your association is your top 5 people and you get heavily heavily influenced by that so by the law of the average if your top 5 people are of the higher category you improve but what's most shocking is if you are the top of your top 5 people then by default you will decline and that's not what we want to do right i this is very important because i have my own personal story and i actually call it in my book as who's more lazy now this story is when uh, i completed my intermediate or senior secondary from my hometown and that was the very first time i was going out of my town and that was basically to prepare for engineering entrance exam i was uh, above average student to say i won't i won't say i was really really uh, good but i was not bad i was above average for sure and i had the potential so i was looking into getting into the premier engineering college or as they say indian institute of technology or iit and i had really big dreams so i went out of the town uh, my father arranged me to stay with the son of his one of friend and that to date i still consider is one of the biggest mistake of us now that that guy he was not a bad guy it's just that he was not too much interested into studies i wanted to do bigger things he was not i wanted to study a lot he wanted to study but probably not a lot and that's where the law of average started ticking in slowly and steadily i also became lazy i became disinterested and by the end of the year i did not get admission neither into iit not into any nit or regional engineering college that used to have or even into any government college so i had to settle into a private engineering college that to date i believe had most impact on me now i'm i'm not saying that that is a bad thing that i completed from private college and all but why what i still wonder is that if i had a better association i do not know where i would have been i would probably would have been from a very premier college maybe in a even better position so it's really really important that we are mindful of our association so being mindful really helps you shape think of it that you know if you are trying to be in a group of toppers 
trying to be in the group of top professional, trying to be in the group of high achiever, it will drive you to perform at the peak level, perform at the next level, perform at the level where you want to be at par with the group because you otherwise may be thrown out of the group. So it's very important that you know, we change our association or we keep our association as the high potential association. When I went to engineering college, I made sure that I am among the top 5% of the students in the college. And that helped me become the top 5% of the college. So your association plays a very, very major role. This might seem a small thing, but it's actually a really, really big thing. Now you might ask uh, Haritos, what you're saying is making complete sense, but I do not have any people uh, who are in top 5% or who are high performing. How do I improve my association? So next I'm going to cover three specific strategies, three spe specific steps that you can use to improve your association. So number one, try to find out who are the top professionals, top students, top people in that organization and find out a way to engage with them. Maybe you can directly relate with that. I, I, I remember when I was in college, I used to go to our senior who was university topper. So I used to directly go to him and ask for some advice. So that could be one way that you can change your association, uh, seeking out people who are better than you, who are doing better than who are doing better than you in any particular field and get engaged with them, get some tips, insight, learnings from them. So that's step number one, or that's a way number one that you can improve your association. Number two, there might be times then when you will not be able to find out such a person uh, or in, my, in many cases that person may not be approachable. In that case, you can always go back to books, podcast, YouTubes, and other dig digital media platforms. Now, I would say if you have to spend your time and if you don't have those good people in your association, why not spend time with the great authors, with the great YouTubers, with the great podcasters to learn, to listen, to watch their, uh, their life insights and gain some more. So that is the second way that you can improve your association. So number three, now if you have reached out to people and you're not getting more insights, uh, you have gone through some of the books and you are getting some insight, but if you want to get more, participate in voluntary organization. There are so many voluntary organization which help. Uh, there is Toastmasters for public speaking. There is Rotary. There are others uh, uh, for Teach India is one of them. There are so many other voluntary organization where you can really connect with great people uh, who are really doing great service to the mankind and they have the leadership, communication, and other high performance skills that can really elevate your association. So just to re recall these three steps, number one, reach out to people in your organization, college, or place. Uh, try to reach out to them directly and ask for feedback, ask for tips, ask for some insight. Number two, uh, if you're not able to reach such a person, Try to read some books, uh, listen to podcasts, watch YouTube videos of great authors, uh, great writers, etc. And number three is participate in voluntary activities uh, like Toastmasters, Rotary, Teaching, etc. to get connected with such great leaders. Now, if you apply these three techniques or these three tips, I am pretty sure your association will improve. So I'm going to give you a challenge before I wrap up this episode is in this month. Yes, this is the new year. This is the January time. Take out 10 to 15 minutes, go to a quiet place and think about your top five people. Are they elevating you or are they bringing you down? This is a very, this is a quote by Gaur Gopaldas who says, 
our association is powerful it can uplift us or bring us down so that's it that's for episode 1 of small town bigger dreams i hope you enjoyed this episode and if you liked it please post it comment which which tip you like the most did you like the tips of getting reaching out to people did you like the tips of reading books podcasts youtube watching youtubes or did you like the tips of going to a voluntary organization i am really looking forward to your feedback and that will help me shape the future of this podcast so until next time keep learning keep growing and keep going out of your comfort zone this is haritosh and i'll be back in two weeks with another episode of this podcast thank you so much have a wonderful day ahead i know you must be excited and want to be what are the things that he could do